So then, £14.99p for a new pair of shoes. First impressions count. It's not even in a box, it's in a bag. Hi guys, I'm Tony James, welcome to the channel. Today we've got another shoe review for you. This shoe cost me £14.99. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Kalanji No Name Shoe. So yeah, there you have it. £14.99 this shoe cost me from Decathlon, who have stores in the UK, all over Europe and around the world. Unfortunately, not in the United States or Canada. So it's available online at the moment, as you know, because most of the stores are still shut. Right, this is the Kalanji is the make. It must be Decathlon's in-house make. Uh, this particular shoe, $14.99, doesn't have a name. It just says Run Cushion Shoe. So I think we should have a competition to actually name this shoe. My personal favourite is Derek. I think we should call these shoes Derek. But anyway, that's just me. So before we lace it up and take it for a run, thank you very much indeed for joining me on this channel. If this is your first visit, thank you very much indeed. Please take the time and hit the orange button in the corner. Hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you'll find out every time we upload new videos, including things like this, shoe reviews. So please take the time to hit subscribe now. Right, before I tell you about the shoe, let's get it laced up. Let's take it out for a trial spin. And like that, we're back. Been out, done five miles in this particular trainer. Also wore it last night as a casual shoe around the house just to get the feel of it. But we've been out, we've done five miles, at a quite quickish pace. Five miles, average pace of seven minutes, 12 seconds. You can see that, check it out on my Strava. If you can still see these things after they've all gone behind the subscription wall. So yeah, we've took it out, we've been out for a brisk run, as I say, quite a fast run over the five miles, and I'll tell you how it felt in just a moment. But let's have a look at it. It's the Kalanji, or Kalenji, or however you want to pronounce it, Decathlon's own shoes, £14.99. That's about 18 US dollars, uh, somewhere around about 16, 17 euros. Now, I think, for £14.99, dirt cheap. It's described on the website as a beginner shoe for people who are just beginning running, who run once or twice a week for up to about an hour. That's how Decathlon are selling this. As you can tell, at £14.99, this isn't going to be a top-end shoe for running half marathons or full marathons. This is squarely aimed at the beginning, the beginner runner, or somebody who's just looking to improve slightly, or they don't fancy making a big commitment and paying a fortune for a shoe whilst they're just starting out on a couch to 5K. So that's who it's aimed at. And having run in this, I think that's Bob on. That's exactly who this shoe is aimed at. But that said, let's have a look at it. To be honest, I think it's a it's not a bad looking shoe, to be honest, is it? It looks really good. This is available in several colours, black, blue, and a red. I wanted the red one. The red one looked ace, but unfortunately they're out of stock online, so I've ended up with the blue ones, which, to be honest, I think is rather nice, rather fetching, looks okay. But as I said at the beginning of the video, felt a little bit disappointed because they don't come in boxes, so I couldn't unbox it. I had to rip it out of the plain plastic bag. But anyway, that's probably to save money. It's $14.99. No bells and whistles. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It looks nice. It's got the Decathlon um, 
decals down the side. It's also got little things on the front and on the back. So no, they've spent some time researching and, and looking into getting a good looking shoe. This has got over five thousand reviews on their website and it gets an average of four point three out of five. So it, they must be doing something right. Over five thousand positive reviews for this shoe. Looks good. The material on the upper, if we have a look, it looks like it's breathable, but no, it's not. It's just an EVA weave top. It's, it's not breathable as such. It's it's thin, but I wouldn't say it's a, a, a breathable upper. It's got some stability with the decals there and also some stability in the heel counter with the plastic bit there. Standard lace arrangement, standard laces, nothing too untoward. Inside you've got a nice tongue and if you look at the heel cup, it's adequately padded, adequately padded. It's not lush, it's not plush, it's not thickly padded, it's not like some of the high-end racers where are really thin. It's got, it's adequate. It's $14.99, it's got adequate padding. Now, to be honest, when I put this on, I had to get a size a little bit bigger than I normally would. I'm a UK 10, which is an American 11, but with Decathlon being a French company, the shoes are measured in the European sizes. So you can have size 44, which is 9.5, or size 45, which is 10.5. So I actually went for the 10 and a half, so it's a little bit bigger than I normally wear. But when I put this on, whoa, it felt good. It actually fitted really nice. Uh, plenty of room in the toe box for wiggling the old toes around didn't feel cramped in there at all didn't feel excessively uh, a large amount of extra space with being that half a size up it, the foot rested inside quite well wasn't any pinching anywhere when my foot was in there we managed to get a really good lockdown with the laces no problems at all on that and when I was out doing the five miles no heel slippage at all that that was on there and it was on pretty tight no problems at all after the five miles no aches no pains no blisters so it, it it's a nice fitting shoe it feels really nice on the foot quick look at the uh, the midsole it's an eva material nondescript eva material we're not talking light strike bounce zoom or anything like that it's just a nondescript eva material just a solid block of it uh, stack height is 38 millimeters measured it there 38 millimeters the drop heel to toe is six millimeters so it's a more of a flatter shoe which they say will help you with your natural running style so moving on from the midsole to the outer and as you can see they've actually got some blown rubber tread on it in the usual parts as well so it's not just a block of uh, midsole they've actually put some rubber for traction on the outsole as well you can feel the cushioning in there and you can feel the, the foam absorbing the impact of your foot on the floor and that's what uh, Decathlon has say it's in there to help reduce the impact now it's cushioned in that respect now the one thing I missed having worn high-end shoes is with this particular shoe your foot hits the floor and then you've got to put all the effort in to move off again there is no spring back there's no return there's no push off if you see what i mean there's no kinetic energy release system in this shoe it just cushions your foot when you land and then you have to mechanically lift it off. So I did run quite quickly in this on my five mile run, but I did feel I was putting a lot more effort in than I would have done if I was wearing a New Balance 1080 or my Pegasus Turbos. But that said, it's a 1499 shoe aimed at the beginner runner. If you are just starting out running and you're looking to start your first couch to 5K and you don't want to spend mega bucks on a top end shoe, I feel this shoe is ideal for you. For me personally, would I wear this as a running shoe? No, this is going to be a casual everyday trainer for me. I'm not going to be doing any more running in it, it's just going to be a casual wearing shoe. But for that new runner, somebody who's just beginning, this shoe is brilliant. It's been well designed, it looks good, the midsole gives you that cushion when you land. So all in all, this isn't a bad shoe. It does what it says on the tin. It is aimed at a specific market. If you are a long distance runner or you're a regular runner, it's not for you. 
a beginner shoe. This is for the beginner or the very casual runner. Well designed, looks good, midsole's adequate. It's not a bad shoe. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, this one. So once again, hope you found that of interest. If you did, hit the thumbs up below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I will see you next time. But till then, let's get running.